Cadence of Hyrule, coming soon to the Nintendo Switch, looks like a standard Zelda game, but the way it plays is totally different. Every action you take, from walking around Hyrule, to swinging your sword at slimes, to opening treasure chests, all has to be done to the beat of the soundtrack. If you think that sounds a lot like the 2015 indie hit Crypt of the Necrodancer, you're right. Cadence of Hyrule is an official crossover of these two series, developed by Necrodancer creator Brace Yourself Games and published by Nintendo. You start off in control of Cadence, the main character of Necrodancer. But this is just for a brief tutorial. Soon, you'll have to pick either Link or Zelda to be your character for the rest of the game. There are some differences between them. Link has a shield that will let him guard in one direction while moving. And Zelda has Nairu's Love, which lets her block attacks and reflect projectiles in any direction. But again, it has to be on the beat. It also depletes her stamina bar. As you might imagine, the whole game is set to some kick-ass, guitar-shredding remixes of classic Zelda tunes. And the locations and enemies will be familiar too, although not their exact locations. The map is semi-randomly generated each time you start a new game. Each time you meet a new enemy, you'll have to carefully watch their movement patterns, then dance up to them and hit them when they're not attacking. It can be pretty tricky, so you'll have to pay close attention. You'll also have to avoid traps, like this one, that cause is confusion. Caves will hide bonus areas, some of which can only be completed once you've found special items. Complete this puzzle and you'll get Zora's flippers. Die and you can start again at any Sheikah stone you've found on the map. You'll lose breakable items like shovels and torches, but you'll keep any major items plus diamonds, which you'll then be able to spend on more stuff. Play without missing any beats or taking any damage, and enemies will drop more diamonds and better loot. Cadence will occasionally pop up again. Find her in this cave, and she'll give you the loot, which lets you fast travel between Sheikah stones. Some treasure chests, like this angry-looking one here, can only be opened if you fulfill certain requirements, like killing all the enemies without taking damage or missing a beat. This one has to be opened before the timer runs out. And it wouldn't be a Zelda game without dungeons, like this frozen palace beneath Lake Hylia. Dungeons are where the game gets very Crypt of the Necrodancer, since they're fully procedurally generated. Each level will have a shopkeeper and a key. Past that, the game decides. Leave the dungeon and come back in, and it'll all be different again. Although it looks a lot like Zelda, Cadence of Hyrule definitely played more like a Necrodancer game. Either way you look at it, it's a peanut butter and chocolate combination that makes a whole lot of sense.